you doing folks Chris Haskell here and today we're gonna teach you a little more about light orbs of course there's no official uh, information where we can go look up hey let's find all about light orbs okay doesn't happen there's no place we can do that alright so what are we looking at here we got all kinds of things flying through the sky Okay, one of the things I want to start out with here is most of the things you're seeing in this video flying through the air that you can see quite obviously, they're not rain. Okay, it is raining during this video, but what you're looking at here is not rain. Now you can actually see raindrops, but not very easy to see them okay they're not real bright like all these other things you're seeing flying around all right so let's let's get into that a little bit and uh first thing i want to do is is show you that these are not rain and i can do that pretty easily because here is a video about okay this right here now you've got the upper two screens and the bottom two screens. Okay, the upper two are at the front of a house. This is an average size house, and those two cameras are mounted on the front of the house. So they're, what do you say, 30, 40 feet away from the other cameras? The bottom two are facing on the side of the house. One's facing to the front of the house, and the other one is facing to the rear of the house. They're both literally within about three inches of each other the cameras are one's facing one way the other one's facing the other way okay so what we're seeing here is why do we not see anything going on on the top cameras those are the same time as as the other ones okay they're all running at the same time but there's no flashes of light which appear to be rain i understand that looks Kind of like rain, all right? There's none at the front of the house. Why? Now, I don't know why that is, but the orbs are not, right now anyway, at the front of the house. They can be wherever they want. They're independent life forms. Okay, so that I wanted to establish with you. Look at that. There's nothing going on on the top of the cameras. And then occasionally you see a, a raindrop like dripping off of the roof. Now both of those top cameras do have a little bit of a porch over them. The one on the left has about a four foot porch in front of it. So you won't see any rain until after the little bit after the posts. And then the right hand side one has only about a one foot overhang past the camera. Okay. But where are all those streaks of light? Okay. They're not rain because how could the rain be coming on the side of the house and not on the front of the house okay it would only only possible that that would happen for a couple minutes with rain, rain cloud moving but fact is there is none on the front of the house and a ton of them what are they thousands millions of them on the side of the house okay that shows you with indistinctive proof that that's not rain. If it was rain, it would be the front and the side and all around the house. There's there's your video. None in the front of the house. An occasional orb, an occasional raindrop. All right. So I clarified that. Now let's go on to the uh, other things. Okay. So now to cover another misconception. Uh, this misconception is some people, they watch these videos, they go, oh, those are bugs. Those are just bugs. Really? Okay. Which type of bug is it that's invisible to humans? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying because light orbs cannot be seen by most humans. And by that, more precisely, I should say that some people claim to have the ability to see light orbs at all times. And I find this to be true. So some people 
have the ability to see these things all the time. But basically, the majority of humans cannot see in the infrared light zone with their human eyes. They can look through an infrared camera and easily see it, but you can't just look and see them with your human eyes. So these are in the infrared light spectrum. We know it's real. We simply just can't see the infrared light spectrum with human eyes. Okay. So that quashes the whole thing of people telling, oh, those are just bugs. Okay. Next misconception about light orbs is some people watch the videos and they go, those are dust particles. What? They're not dust particles. They're independent life forms that move all on their own and they don't just flow in the wind. Okay, that I've shown multiple videos. But definitely not dust particles and I'll tell you why. It's raining like hell. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you think we got dust clouds floating in the air, especially if it already been raining for a while? Nice heavy rainstorm? Nope. So, nope, definitely not uh, dust. Now, I will tell you that if, I, if it was a nice dry day out and it's nighttime, so I'm seeing infrared, if I shook a rug in front of a camera, it, I'm telling you, it will look a lot like this. It looks a trip. It, 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 like, boom, you shake a rug, and the dust particles do appear very similar. But anyway, this... These are not showing you dust particles, okay? Not possible. So, eh, got rid of that one. Next item. A lot of people, when I put up videos like this, they will come to me and they'll say, Chris, you got to be careful, man. Those, those are demons. Or, or they might say those are spirits, dead people. Okay, like kind of like ghosts. All right, I want to cover a couple things here, and I, I give people credit. They a lot of people, and we're talking a lot of people have warned me about. Oh my God, be careful! Those are demons. Those are just terrible. Well, first of all, the amount of light orbs that I see in my lifetime, ah, uh, yeah, I think I would know. To be honest with you, I know what a demon is. Demons are real, devils are real, and I don't allow them in my life. When I see anything like that, I discuss Jesus Christ with them, and I don't want them in my life, and I shun them. Okay? So, I think I would know at this point, for year after year, I've been dealing with tons of orbs coming. They come in my bedroom like a, like a damn vortex going on. I think I would know if these were in any way bad demons or bad souls or, or, or even just souls look look at the amount you're looking at right now are those souls you know I don't know that would that would be a lot that would be a lot and I'll tell you one thing these come every time in the rain every time I have yet to see a time where I can get on my camera at night and it's raining and I don't see these they're there they love, and by the way, these are the ones I talk about. These are the rain ones. They love the rain. They have such a good time. They literally travel from the cloud where they dump the rain all the way down, and the rain has to stop on the ground, but these guys can just shoot right through the ground, and they love the rain, and they look like they appear to be having a great time. So it's really interesting, I think about these ones that come with the rain but let me tell you something else I've seen a million types of orbs and there are definitely different types now what we see with a, uh, a human eyes on an infrared camera is still just a ball of light right or a streak of light but we don't know really for sure what it is or the difference between one or another and I've seen them come in all sizes you name it from miniature, microscopic, to huge, two miles across, okay? They come in all sizes, so I don't question that light orbs are different. There are different types. 
there are probably ones that are spirits. There are probably ones that come to us looking the same as a demon. Okay, I don't doubt that. I'm just saying that I don't believe the ones I'm dealing with are. There may have been times that I've seen them, but I've got no feelings that they are demons. Okay, these are the ones in the rain. And another uh, whole aspect of light orbs here, and I've discussed this many times, is is the fact that there are different ones. So some of them come to me and it attempt to communicate with me, I believe, in my opinion. Um, they sit and do all these crazy things right in front of the camera, and they attempt to communicate with you. And another item here, and I've shown videos of this, some of these light orbs are no question intelligent. And the reason, there is a definite reason I can say that. I see all the time spider webs, the spiders come to my cameras and they put these webs like you're seeing on right there in front of the camera there's one sometimes these light orbs get stuck on them they get caught on them and they can't get off and they'll try like hell to get off and sometimes I watch them for hours sometimes even days where they can't get off the spider web they're just trying they're like jumping and trying and just had, like, trying like hell to pull off of the spider web well what proved to me that these are intelligent is when I saw, and I've seen it many times now, another light orb comes flying down to the one that's stuck, and it seems to communicate with it, right? Sits near it, and then next thing you know, it attaches to it. So, and they don't become one, but what you, what you do see is they attach, like, kind of right next to it, and then... Now, when they do that, they move in unison. So you see both of them. And then they get to run at it, and they try like hell. And in almost every case I've watched, they get off. So here comes this, this other one. It talks to it. It connects to it. And then they together go for broke, and they go to get to run at it. They go pull, pull, and pretty soon, boom, there they get free. And they're no longer on the camera. You don't see them again. So that to me proves without a shadow of a doubt that they're, some of them are intelligent. Now again, there might be multiple types of orbs. These ones that we're looking at could be the rain orbs, let's just call them. Maybe they're totally different and maybe these are just, I don't know, kind of like a bug. Maybe they're not so smart. But they sure love the rain. That I know. But they're totally different than some of them that come to me and attempt to communicate. I have another uh, popular video that I produced a long time ago. It's called Family, Amazing Family of Light Orbs. On that, I totally think what I caught was a, a mom and a dad and seven little children, and they're out for a stroll. And what they do is... Uh, these beings see my cameras from a long ways away, like you would see a football stadium, okay? Because it's infrared, and the cameras shoot out a red light. So to them, it's probably, you know, they can see it a long ways away, and it attracts them, kind of like a, a bug gets attracted to a light. So they come, and they play in my infrared lights. Because here my house has got a ton of cameras around it, so they're seeing a bunch of infrared light. And it attracts them, and I believe the kids like to come and play in it. So in that amazing family of light orbs, it shows mom and dad came, and they just kind of kick it. And the kids are flying all over the place. And mom, every, time, every once in a while, they get a little far out of their sight. And the mom goes, Whoop! she goes over there, burr, 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 starts moving real crazy, and kind of keeps them in order so they, they can't be taken off um, that's that that's an amazing video you ought to see it but uh, another fact about these guys is um they have the ability to come and pass right through solid objects I've seen it a million times you can you can probably watch it right in this video they travel through cars they go through houses they go through walls it doesn't matter what it is, they can pass right through it. But yet they can somehow see it 
because I've seen like the kids came down and they they went in a cardboard box and played around in it and came flew out of it. They could have just flown right through it, but they didn't. So they can see it. I don't know what a trip, but so another thing about light orbs, what I believe is because of exactly that, is sometimes they appear and disappear right on camera. So it's an infrared camera. We can see it. But even though sometimes they're not there and they go whoop and they appear right before your eyes. Or they're flying around on camera and then they go whoop and disappear right before your eyes. So I believe this is another factor of these life forms. I believe what that shows is they are interdimensional beings. Okay? Real simple. We can see them in the infrared camera, but if they're in another dimension and they pop into this dimension, all of a sudden they appear on screen, and when they go into another dimension, they boop, disappear. So, just another fact about light orbs that I've been trying to determine all these factors. So, there we go. Um, just wow. There's a lot of weird factors, but but it definitely quells people that just want to watch a video like this and go, oh, that's just this, that's just that, it's a bug, it's a, it's a dust particle, bullshit. That's not true. Now, I wish the government would tell us what they are, because you, you don't think they know? They probably know. Who knows if they made these things? I, I really doubt that. I believe they've been here longer than we have been, so. Anyway. Um, that's what this video is about. I wanted to show you all those factors, talk about it a little bit, and let's go on. If You, you might be kind of like me and interested and want to just sit and watch them for a while. So here we go. I'll slow them down and take an eye, Gander. Have a nice day. Uh, Real News Tucson reporter, Chris Haskell. Oh, I did forget one thing here. Um, it's kind of important here. Uh, what I was going to say is it, the things you're looking at right now, okay, I already explained it's not rain. These are light orbs. But actually, you're looking at two different uh, beings, two different beings. And the ones that look like, like streaks, um, they, they may appear like they're just blurring the camera, but actually they're not. What those are is rods. Rods are just basically like a light orb, but they're shaped differently. They're long and thin, like a pencil flying through the air. Okay? So, and you can see it's definitely distinguishable. Some of them have, look like those streaks, which are rods. And other ones look like round balls. So I, that's what I wanted to point out. You're looking at two different entities here, light orbs and rods. Sometimes I get all, all light orbs, and other times I get all rods. And I thought for a long time those were just a very light orb, but they're not. Those are rods. Okay? All right. Continue watching. Have a good day. Whoa, man! Nice See dog. that ropes? What you talking about, man? Like shit, man! Went across your 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 security monitor, man. Light Fucking beams. something shot across there. Look all trippy. Oh man! You're talking about a light orb, bro. What? Dimensional. It has a light orbs. You don't know what a light orb is, man? Oh yeah, I make videos about them. Shit, dude. Those things, you know, those things that you take a picture of someone and, and then you look at the picture and you go, oh my God, what's that? There's a ball of light next to them and stuff, you know? Yeah, yeah, it's been happening a long time, man. And you didn't see it when you were taking the picture. No, it's a light orb. Man, I never heard of that shit. I don't know what, I know, what the fuck? No, man, light orbs are like, uh, they're interdimensional beings, man. Because, okay, so here's the thing. You can't see them with the human eyes. No, man, you can't see them. 
you uh you gotta look through an infrared security camera, right? Because light orbs they live in the in the infrared light spectrum. Okay, so there's like this big old light spectrum and we can see part of it, but there's a bigger section we can't even see. And we know it's real and stuff, but we can't see it with a human eye. So you gotta look through a, uh, an infrared camera. And that's where you can see them, man. I see them all the time because I've had security cameras forever, man. I'll tell you one thing, anybody who's had a security camera for a long time, man, they go, oh yeah, I see them. They're familiar with them. They, they usually don't, they're like, what is it anyway, man? I thought those were bugs. No, they ain't bugs. I, I'll tell you one thing, man. Okay, a lot of people look at videos and they go, oh, that's just a bug. Well, let me ask you this. Which which bugs are they that, that are invisible to humans? Hello. Okay, there ain't no bugs like that. Not that we've been told about. Okay, they're not bugs, bro. And then sometimes they'll go, oh, that that's just rain. You can see it's just raindrops. No, it ain't raindrops. I'm telling you, bro, I've been feeling them a long time, okay? They're intelligent, man, and they're interdimensional. And the reason I say that, sometimes they just appear on camera, you know, because you can see them on camera, right? But they just appear, and then they disappear.